That was held back an hour because of frost, but the grass in good shape. Let's play some golf. Minster and Olive Hill were teamed together starting on the 10th hole here. Minster's Ray Purdy with a very pretty approach here. Landed within just a few feet of the hole. He would finish with a 91. Then Audeville's Blake quarter cracks. Bogey's here, but look at this approach shot. This is a par opportunity and just misses it by less than an inch. I, I know I couldn't bear to look either. He slots a 93. Mitchell Bornhorst cracks the top 25 in the state with an 85 as he knocks that one in. Then Michael Turnwald also tapping it in 107 for day one. For the big green, Grant Lee's parring here. He's in the top 10 with an 80. Nice score by him on the day. Now Nathan Bear knocking down the 86 on the day and also Minster getting out of the sand here, finishing with a bogey on this hole. Joey Magato and then Keaton Schnipke with the par. Six pars on the day for him, he finished with a 90. Now to Delphi St. John's, other team qualifier, Tice McLean with a birdie, 83 for the day. Jack Gerker with a solid early start, struggling a bit on the back nine, however, he shot an 85 for the round. Now some individual action. Parker Judy on the approach for Lima Central Catholic and gets that one in, rolling just past the hole. Four pars and a birdie on the back nine for Judy. He would finish with an 85 on the round. Miller City's Will Otto taps that one in. He finished with an 87. And Botkins Ross Dietz, strong back nine with a birdie and five pars. He would finish with an 85. Four. St. John's in third place in the state of Ohio with a 343 score. Action continues tomorrow. St. John's with an outside chance. They got to make up some room, but there is an opportunity there to claim a state title. Grant Lease of Ottaville and Colin Feathers of St. John's, the top individual scores after day one, both tied for 10th with an 80.